Since their introduction into North America in the 1800s, common carp, also known scientifically as Cyprus carpio, have received mixed emotions. Revered game fish in Europe, carp have never reached that status in the United States. Considered an environmental pest by many, carp have often been the subject of many attempts at extermination. In the last decade, however, carp have gained respect with some American anglers who now realize their sport fishing potential. Not all carp look the same, however. There are many carp variations resulting from centuries of selective breeding. The most widely known is the koi variation, in which fish are highly pigmented and display vivid coloration. Some carp may also appear to have a lack of scales. This is also a variation that can be observed randomly among populations of normal carp. Carp are omnivorous fish, meaning that they eat both plants and animal matter. They do not display predatory behavior, therefore they cannot be caught using presentations intended for bass or other predators. Due to the downturn low-lying mouths of these fish, they most often take in food that resides near the bottom, but on occasion may take some food items from the surface. Carp consume a variety of different food items, including aquatic plants, small mollusks, crayfish, and aquatic insects. Typical fishing methods for carp in, the, in North America have been passed on from Europe, where carp fishing is very popular. Carp are most often caught off bottom rib, rigs, consisting of small J-hook and split-shot sinkers, or single teardrop sinker, in which the fish can swim around when hooked without feeling resistance. On occasion, slip bobber rigs may be used to catch carp. Such rigs suspend the bait above the bottom rather than letting it sit directly on the bottom. There's a variety of bait that will effectively catch carp. Probably the most common used is corn, which have strong, attractive properties. But it also works well, but it must have a certain level of moisture in order to stay on the hook. Over the years, many companies have developed their own custom carp baits. These seem to be more popular with European anglers, however. In recent years, fishing with artificials for carp has become fairly popular, primarily for fly anglers who have developed distinct fishing techniques for catching carp during the spawn. Keep in mind, in many situations chumming is necessary for drawing the fish in, so that they may have a chance of taking your bait. Now I'm going to do some demonstrations in the field. The following is footage from past fishing trips, as well as some more recent footage. Okay everyone, Fisher Fanatic 1 here. Uh, today I'm just going to be uh, showing you guys how to catch some carp, and I'm going to be using corn, corn niblets. They've been sitting in my freezer for uh, probably about five, six months now. It's the first time I've gotten a chance to use them. And uh, so what I'm using, just this bait caster right here, and it's got fairly heavy line on it so I can get these monsters in. There's some very large carp in here. I'm talking some good, probably about 20 pounders. I don't know if I'll catch one today, but just in case, I always bring this. Um, either that, or some days I might go a little bit lighter, uh, lighter tackle, and um, bring uh, my eight pound spinning setup. And uh, yeah, okay, I'm trying to put these lead shots in the line. Adds more uh, weight, so I can actually cast this with a bait caster. So what I'm doing, is uh, you can't see me right now probably but uh, I'm just getting corn nibbles out they've been frozen pretty hard so it might be a little bit difficult to put these on at this point but um all right here's one here's the other and here's the last one all right there's the corn niblets right there now I'm just gonna toss this in I should be able to get one within about two minutes it's very easy to catch carp here I'm going to bring my net down just in case something does hit. Um, okay, going on down. And uh, something else about these bluegill love them. So you got to get to the carp right away. That's why I'm using such a good line. I'm going to use some of the leases.
Okay, everyone, I'm just going to move my tackle over here because I'm seeing some smaller carp. And just for the purpose of showing you guys how to catch them, I was hoping for a bigger one. Exactly seeing these fish right now. Hope they didn't move. Please tell me. Hope they're still there. They're still there. I see them. All right, I'm gonna move this camera back here, everyone. Uh, I'm just gonna straight on. I've got a, a very long net, so it shouldn't be a problem landing this fish. These fish. Smaller fish put up a better fight generally than the bigger ones here. So. fell off. Some more weights on. We got some heavy rain earlier today. Just kind of murked up the water a little bit and caused the fish to spread out. Everything in here. Anything from the uh, sunfish, the giant carp in here. There's even some bass in here. Got an 18 incher last year out of here. Seen some that were over 20. But uh yeah. Should be enough weight. <laughs> I need hope. Okay, I got one. Oh, right now. I just got this carp right here and uh, I don't know if you guys saw the fight or not my thing was running low on charge anyway here he is and uh, good sized fish carp they just suck stuff off the bottom sometimes off the top mostly off the bottom really like corn I'm gonna get the hook out and release this guy pretty much scared all the other carp downstream so I'll go back there and uh, start filming there for my next fish Okay, everyone, I got a good sized carp on. I'm gonna get this thing in if you could see it down there. I'm gonna get him in before it goes under the bridge and get a good video of him. Hope this is the one, this isn't, this isn't the same one I caught a few days ago because he's got scale patterns that are similar. I'm gonna fight this fish and uh, video him and photograph him. Oh, come on. Whoop starting to tire out. I just wanted to tire him out thoroughly before I net him. Because if you don't do that, then you might lose him during the netting process. Whoa, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. He's trying to put me towards some rocks. He's trying to put me just towards some rocks. What I'm just doing is I'm putting pressure on the fish just to tire it out. He's going on the four right here. I'm not going to photograph him. I'm just going to show you the fight. These fish are pretty docile. They're not fighting all that hard. 
do a lot of head shakes though. There's not very much space for them to swim in this creek, so, you know. Here's a good sized carp right here. This one's the littlest one I've caught today, yet it's given up the biggest tussle. Um, he's not huge, he's not a huge carp, but he's, he's an all right sized carp. Um, I'm not gonna really video him on shore. I'm just gonna video him during the fight. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to tire him out so the hook, getting the hook out of his mouth is easier. He's not flopping around on the shore. Stay tuned for more fish. And another carp right here. It's a pretty good size. I'm gonna get him back as well.